Welcome to the Land of House YouTube channel. I'm Seth, and welcome to my tiny house. I started building this place in 2014, and then have not really touched it again until recently. So in this video, I'm kind of ambitious. I want to install my charge controller, inverter, and battery up here in this corner, and that will feed my panel through this wire right here. So let's step over to my uh, lower shop and I'll show you the components that I hope to install today. Here are the three things I'd like to get installed today. This is a lithium iron phosphate battery. It's a 12 volt and it should be able to uh, run my inverter no problem. This is the Sun Gold Power 3000 watt inverter with remote. So this remote can sneak around the tiny house over to the front door. So when we first walk in, we can flip this on and run the power for the whole thing. And so whenever uh, I leave, I can turn that off and it won't consume the battery. And then the last thing, I've got this uh, MPPT solar charge controller, and that will allow me to charge up the battery from a solar panel outside. So maybe a little bit ambitious, but I think we can get the three of these things installed today. So here's my plan. I'd like to install the battery right up here. So I want to make a little shelf that it will sit on right here. And so the terminals will be up here and then they will kind of come over to uh, meet up with the red and black terminals of the inverter. And so that'll be, I guess, ending about right there. And it's pretty long, so it'll come out to over here somewhere. And I made this cord long enough I can uh, come up under here and, and hook that up. And then somewhere along this wall, we'll also put that uh, charge controller. And uh, I don't know, I may put it, you know, either over here or up under the battery. Uh, it doesn't really matter, I don't guess. And uh, that'll have a little display where we can see the uh, battery charge and how much is coming in from outside. So anyway, that's the plan, is to get those three components up here. So I'm gonna use the uh, French cleat method to get both of these, uh, the battery and the inverter installed. And so I'm gonna make a little shelf here first for the battery, and then we'll see how far that needs to be moved around. So, cause it'll come out to, you know, here or so. And so we'll have to deal with uh, where it goes for that over there. I think that's gonna make the most sense. Now it might make more sense, instead of having the battery long ways here, move it out this way. And I'll just have to see where the display is. Anyway, we'll bring that out here and we'll, uh, we'll see what it's gonna do up here in this space. I'm gonna start with installing the inverter first. And here's my idea. So if you've never used the French cleat system, you have one piece cut at a 45, and then another piece cut at a 45. And then you've got one of them will go on the wall like this with the angle facing the wall. And the other one will have whatever you're trying to hang and it will slip down into that groove and the weight against that angle will keep it on the wall. So uh, it's just an easy way of getting something that weighs 50 pounds up and onto the wall without uh, having to hold it and then uh, put some screws in. So that being said, I've cut these pieces and hopefully I think I cut them at 20 inch. So yeah, it's gonna be good for that. Um, so this one right here will go on the wall and uh, we'll set that one aside. And so all I need to do is attach this one to the inverter and this little strip. The strip here is because the lower part of the inverter would be tilted in if I didn't put that support up under the other half. And then I'll also just put a couple of screws into the wall um, through all of this, just to lock it in place. But um, as far as just getting it up there, this should be the easiest way. Okay, that being said, uh, first I'm gonna install the small strip on the bottom, which is down here. And then we'll install this one on the top. So I've got a drill and then some small Phillips head screws that we will do that with. All right, get this thing in position. Okay, I've just centered that. Hopefully I can get these screws in here. There's not a lot of room to work with, so they may be a little bit angled. I'm hoping my sleeve here will help drive these in. So this down here won't be holding any weight, so I think I'll just put three screws in just to keep this on here nice and tight. Okay, 
I'm just using a screw as a spacer because I want these to be the same on both sides. Otherwise, the uh, otherwise, whenever one side of the cleat fits on the other one, it'll be a little bit off. Like I said, this side up here is going to be holding all the weight, so I'm going to go ahead and fill in all of these screw holes, and that will hopefully give more than enough strength to hold up this 50 pounds. I've moved the inverter over here to the tiny house. Now this is the piece that's going to go on the wall. Now I was looking at how wide the inverter is and also uh, having to go around this wire. And so I'm going to put this piece on the wall right here at the seven inch mark from the top. So let's go ahead and find where we need to pre-drill in order to go into the studs here. All right, there's nothing more fun than lifting 50 pounds above your head. Yeah. Luckily, uh, I've been working out a bit lately, so wasn't too bad. So one really cool thing about this uh, French cleat design, until I lock this down, I can actually slide it back and forth. So if I need to access my terminals over here for the battery, I can just slide that over a bit, work on that, and then I can put my covers there and then slide it all the way against the wall or wherever I need it to be. So cool. So uh, yeah, I could have gone up another inch or two, but it's gonna be good enough. Hopefully nobody will uh, hit it with their head. Now that I have this inverter up here on the wall, I think I'm gonna move where I was gonna place the battery. Instead of putting it over here where I think it will uh, block my display and my unit uh, on off power over here. I think I'm just gonna put it right down here. And that way I can put my charge controller over here on this side. And so later, if I want to double up and have a second battery here for some reason, then I could do that. So what I might do is uh, bring the battery out this way, long ways. So it'll come out to right there or so. And that way I could have you know, it may be potentially even three batteries in here at some point um, to feed this. So let's do that next. I cut this piece of cleat here for the battery storage. And I'm thinking that's gonna go somewhere around, where's my marker? Yeah, about this height right here. And so then I built this little shelf. Now this may change later, but uh, this right here will fit on that and support the battery. And I think that I need uh, at least nine inches for the battery. So yeah, I'm doing like 10 and a half right there. So anyway, um, and hopefully my cleat here is big enough that I can now hold uh, up to three batteries on this little uh, shelf here. So that's my thoughts. Let's go ahead and get this into place. Yep, that's definitely on there now. So let's go ahead and put this shelf up here. We can do all the way to the end. Hopefully that's gonna be strong enough. And then we'll set this up here and see how that's gonna do. Hmm, nope, I don't like that at all. It's gonna need some more support. So I think a little triangle up under here would do it. So. Let's go ahead and give that a try. I added a couple more screws back here to give more support and then added these triangles. So hopefully that will support this battery now. Let's lock that end into place. Give this a try. Yeah, I think it's gonna do. I'm not sure if this will support uh, two more of those. We'll just have to see. But anyway, for now, I like that gets it up and out of the way, as you can see there. And the terminals are pretty close back here, so I can probably get by with maybe uh, one foot cables, to be honest, so I'll have to order those. And then uh, oh, this inverter wants four aught, so some massive cables to go from right here to right here um, to get that uh, 3000 watt. Uh, so the last thing to do is to install that charge controller and so I guess uh, since we're possibly gonna have more batteries in the future, I will put that right here. So uh, it'll just be a little box and then maybe off to the side, I can put that display and just, I don't know, wind the cables up. And then this right here, 
will eventually go into this. Um, so uh, the inverter will feed my panel down here, battery will feed this, and the charge controller, I guess I'll just have the wires go up and over and hook up to the batteries uh, that way. I wound up this wire a little bit here so that it's up and out of the way. I think it'll be fine to do that. Now there is no stud behind this uh, right here. So I think I'm just gonna pick this right here and uh, go for it. So the wires will come out of here, up and over or whichever direction. And uh, my little display can be right down here. And that way my batteries would stop somewhere around right here if I uh, get more of them. So, all right, let's go ahead and put this in right here. All right, so I may have to adjust that later, um, but that should be enough just to keep it up there. Now, as far as the display go goes, uh, this thing plugs out right there. So I guess I could just put a zip tie on here and keep all this cable up out of there. But. I can bring some actual cable management up here at some point, but for now, I just found a twist tie out here in the tiny house. So I'm gonna get that extra cable just wrapped up and we'll just stick it up here out of the way for now. I feel like that's a pretty good job for this video. Got the battery up here where we wanted it, looking pretty good. A little bit of extra room up there, not too bad. And I think uh, if we considered, you know, like putting Right there was where that one stops. You can come over here. So I think we can get three batteries on that little shelf, hopefully. Inverter up here looking good. I think I've got plenty of extra wire to go into that box. And then we'll have to bring the wire in from solar outside to the charge controller. And so this thing is uh, super basic, um, but the solar will come into this side right here, these two. And then this right here will go out to the battery. So I probably could just uh, come out, go up and skirt right along here and then go to the battery that way. And then the solar, uh, I'm probably gonna bring in from right over here before I put the siding up. So it'll just pop out over here, come down, over, and then hook up to that right there. And I won't have much solar, maybe 180 watt panel outside just to keep this battery full but that inverter right there will run everything in here, no problem. I think that's successful for today. I got the three components up that I wanted to get up. So my next step is to do some ordering. I need to order my four aught cable to go from the battery terminals up to the inverter. I need to order the cable that goes from the uh, uh, charge controller here out to the solar panel, which um, I've not installed that yet. I just have to uh, find out how much wire I need basically. And so once that is done, we can uh, wire up the switch for this. I'm gonna hopefully get that to go up and over and put it over here somewhere, you know, like maybe right in there. Uh, that way when you first walk in, you can turn on the inverter and have some power. Otherwise this thing just being on will drain the battery um, if you leave it on for extended period of time. Um, may not be an issue with the solar panel out here and not using anything, but Still, I don't want to uh, damage this battery from dropping it too low. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Seth with Land to House. If you wanna see a full dedicated review on this power inverter, I'll have a link down below and also a link to where you can buy it if you want to. And the battery is a lithium iron phosphate from Dr. Prepare. Um, let me see, Ugh. that company also sent this for a free review. Um, so check that out. And uh, this one, I forget what it was called, uh, Bogue RV or Boge, I forget, it's French. Um, anyway, um, that one I purchased on with my own money, um, but if you wanna check that out, hopefully I'll remember to put a link to that as well. All right, I'll see you in the next video, bye.